Good morning. This little demonstration is experimenting with two posts, one on OverUnity Research, which uh, eUnity is suggesting that an OverUnity generator could be uh, created or a motor by, um, how do I put it, uh, interfacing the two unused sides of the coil together in a certain way. And if you watched my past video of the OverUnity coil, the lens killer coil, where I didn't really get much results, I didn't really quite get it, but I didn't do a thorough investigation. So I'm just checking out some uh, stuff they're saying, and I'm wondering if this is kind of the philosophy. Okay, in this hookup, I have two coils which are reversing polarity, right? One's north, one's south, then I switch. This one's south, this one's north, and it's just on a signal generator with a sine wave, okay, going through a coil, okay. On each of the coil tops, I have a receiving coil open, just looking at the voltage on them. Now, they're not pulling power or anything. This is just to see, to measure the flux field coming out of these transformers. So, picture these as the magnets on a motor, you know, how much magnetism they're seeing for speed. Okay, this is just a test. Now, usually, if you have a motor like this, you have a coil here, and you have a coil here, and they're not interfacing each other, they're not interlaced anyway, none of this flux field is touching this one. Now, the whole theory is, the opposite side of the coil, you're wasting. And there's a way to get this opposite coil, and the other opposite coil to induct into each other to do magical stuff. So, this is basically what this is doing. So, when I take these apart, this is representing the motor with two coils. Okay, 662 and 9 volts. 6.6 .6 volts and 9 volts. Okay, but if you put these together, watch what happens. Boom. 731 and 10 volts. I'm going to take them apart. Take them apart. Went back down to 650 and 8.83. Put them back together. 10.5 to 727. All I'm doing is this. Just interfacing the two unused sides of the coil together. And it increases the voltage on both of the pickup coils. Alright, watch. I'll do it now down up extra voltage now I'm not putting any type of amperage in here and I'm using higher frequencies so I could see it because you know this isn't an optimal setup but it's happening on all frequency ranges the exact same thing so it's nothing to do with resonance or anything weird so it seems like this might have some advantageous uh, benefit in it but again this is just an experiment and I don't understand why one source says the core should not touch because I get more when the cores touch than when they don't touch I don't understand not not interfacing the metal but anyway that's kind of a little video I wanted to share here for just some ideas about retesting that over unity coil and or going about this e-motor um, venture just trying to understand the effect. So, 